male history teacher was having sex with, fooling around with, and videotaping female students that were below legal age. He's in jail now. What was that juicy hometown high school rumor that turned out to be true? Good googly moogly, it's my favorite viewer, back to watch another story time. I hope you didn't forget about me, and if you're joining us for your first time, I'm Andrew your storyteller. Since you've made it this far, can you like the video and subscribe? If you do, I'll summon the ghost of Marilyn Monroe to suck you off tonight. Anyways, let's start the stories. Rumor was one of the girls at my high school had a mom who was a porn star. Turns out her mom is Misty Vonage. That the biology teacher hated the principal so much that he repeatedly set the class tarantula loose to sway her away from visiting his part of the school. That a seventh grader was bringing vodka in a water bottle and would drink it throughout the day. Yeah it turns out she brought five and got alcohol poisoning and had to be rushed to the hospital. The head high school principal was screwing a cheerleader and her mom while his wife was pregnant. He was asked to resign. He left and became the superintendent of another county. That the theater kids would use the woman's bathroom in the theater to have sex. Turned out it was true when a teacher walked in on a couple going at it on the sink. They ended up locking the theater bathrooms during the day and only opened them for performances. It sucked because those bathrooms were nicer and quieter than the other ones. That the vice principal was cheating on his terminally ill wife with the cheerleading coach. It was true and everyone knew. He got promoted to principal, moved his office to the conference room in the library. Conveniently and simultaneously, the cheerleading coach became the librarian. Barf. Everyone was always talking about how the pre-calculus teacher and the algebra teacher were screwing around. They were both married, but students would see them smiling at each other, even kissing in the halls. Turns out they were married to each other. She just kept her maiden name. I didn't find out till a few years later when I saw him on Facebook. I'm pretty sure they knew about the rumors and specifically said nothing to dispel them for craps and giggles. That there was a GameCube with Super Smash in it hidden somewhere in the school, along with a tiny TV and four controllers. One day at lunch my friend told me he found it and I didn't believe him. I didn't even believe it existed, but I wanted it to be true, so I snuck out of lunch with him, and we went up through the theater and up into the room where they kept all the props for the plays, and sure enough, behind this big dusty couch there she was. It was like finding treasure except better. From that day on we ate our lunches there and played smash until our thumbs hurt. That was senior year of high school, and damn do I miss it. Wrestling coach owned a funeral home. A kid did an internship there and said the coach was selling body parts, nobody believed him. Well the coach is now in jail for selling organs and a crap load more things. Good ol' North Catholic. Edit. Yes I am talking about Northeast Catholic in Philadelphia. As far as the kid doing the internship I should have called it an apprenticeship. I know he wanted to be a mortician. From what I recall he washed the cars and drove the limo, and after graduation he was going to get involved with the actual procedures. There were rumors that the 40-year-old band teacher was romantically involved with a female student. All parties denied it, and the administration bought it, and apparently chalked it up to bullcrap rumors from gossipy kids. A year after she graduated he left his wife and two kids and married her. Edit. One of the really odd things about this situation is that this student was smoking hot and really popular. She was our school's female track star, captain of the volleyball team and an honors student. The teacher was middle-aged, a little overweight and kind of an average-looking nerdy type. She seemed like the type that would have her pick of any guy she wanted. She was really sweet and made friends with everyone, though, so I'm sure she saw something in him that others didn't. Edit too. Wow after reading the comments so far, I'm a little shocked to see that this isn't really as uncommon as I thought. This took place in the Hudson Valley region of New York. This has probably happened in a bunch of places. There was a gym teacher who was really invested in his students when we were in middle school. Middle school was kin to the phase where we never really knew who was out to get us, but most of us thought the gym teacher was. He was smiling an astonishing amount of the time, even when we were in the locker room getting undressed and dressed. 
Many of us found it unnerving and a bit creepy, and there were many rumors going around that he was gay and into younger boys. Well it turns out that in my final year of middle school, he got sacked, even after years of teaching. And everyone knew why he was sacked. We were wrong, though, since there was a twist. He had been touching a female classmate inappropriately. Many of us thought he was going to be sacked for something like that, at least a little, but I don't think a single one of us thought it would be for touching a girl. He sure proved us wrong. The star basketball player was into younger girls. Let's be painfully explicit here. The guy was ripped. He was shack foot 10 and probably at least a head taller than anyone at our school. He was white but tanned like a glazed onion. Girls would be all over him like moths to the soul street lump in a dark neighborhood. Freshman and sophomore year he dated around, but junior and senior year he went exclusively for the freshmen, and as some of us noted, they were the younger looking freshmen. Word got around that the guy was using steroids. Never proven, and apparently tested, so possibly wrong, but some guys used to say he likes little girls because he has a little dick. I never really believed it. His last girlfriend in high school ended up being this Asian girl who went to Harvard for medicine or some crap, and he went off with his basketball scholarship to university. He was always cool, calm, and colleged, and he was just sweet. No way would he be messing around with younger girls. Then one of my friends called me from high school, when we were around 25, and told me to look him up. Lo and behold, he had a pretty little mug shot after distributing child pornography. The guy could have been drowning in pink, living in the puss he could have been ducking Tom Brady's ducking wife. It's unbelievable to me. But it turned out to be true. School beauty pageant. Underdog big girl gets crowned. It was very after school special. However, it turned out that this happened. The winner's mom walked in on the judges, saying that her daughter wasn't pageant material, freaked out and started crying, accused the judges of being sizeist, and somehow managed to convince them crown her daughter anyway. The daughter found out and voluntarily gave back the crown to the runner-up who was the actual winner. It was pretty humiliating for all involved. Coach having an affair with a student. He got fired and she transferred schools. Two students having sex in the back of the school bus, resulting in boys having to sit on one side and girls on the other forever. Two students having sex in the bathroom next to the gym. So many pregnancies. Like a disproportionate amount based on our school size. Kid goes to jail for armed robbery for 30 days, but only does the weekends because he comes from a good family. Co-salutatorians because the original salutatorian was caught cheating on an honors course and had the honors credit taken away. I went to a really small school, so it's funny that there are this many. My hometown had problems. That Becky and Toby had sex. Becky was the weird girl who verged on being a social pariah. She seemed depressed, like she came from a crappy home. I'd only seen her smile maybe half a dozen times since kindergarten, though I tried to cheer her up when we were assigned lockers next to one another during our senior year. She never wore a bra, I'm sure she didn't even own one, and I believe this contributed to her image of her as a weird, sexually and otherwise, wrong kind of person. Toby was a sophomore who had a learning disability and who also came from the wrong family. He didn't have the right clothes or grooming to at least make him appear like he fit in, so he stood out whenever the popular older boys decided to pretend to be his friend. He wanted to be liked so badly that he was kind of like their monkey, jumping to perform anything they suggested he do. Somehow, perhaps in remedial classes, Becky and Toby met and he took a shine to her. I watched him court her every day after school from behind my locker door. Their conversations were off-kilter and sometimes funny, and I'd laugh with my friends about them later, which I feel bad about now. It didn't take long for the senior boys to find out that Toby was seeing Becky. They teased him with increasing cruelty about whether he was a virgin and when it was that he would pop Becky's cherry. I watched this passively from the cafeteria, there wasn't much anyone could do. Those boys had several monkeys they enjoyed ducking with, and no one wanted to tell the friendless kids that they were really being publicly humiliated. Eventually, it became supposed common knowledge that Toby was banging Becky. I always assumed that they weren't actually having sex that the older boys were just starting crap. Now, it's been years and I can't remember exactly how it went down, 
but I heard later, through the teacher grapevine, my mother was one a teacher, not a grape, that Toby may have been acting abusively toward Becky, but no one really knows the truth. However, later in senior year it became apparent that Becky was pregnant, and the jokes only grew worse. She had Toby's child the summer after we graduated, and the pair raised her in our hometown. While the popular boys, my friends, and I all went off to college and to travel and to work, Becky and Toby lived off McDonald's wages in order to raise a baby that resulted from sex that neither of them were ready for. I can't truly blame those boys, but I do. I also blame our crappy-ass counselors and nurses and teachers who hear rumors like these and watch abuse like this and never actually do anything effective to help it. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.